Like millions of others around the world, my day really doesn't start until I've had my first cup of coffee. And yes, today I'm drinking instant, so soon. However, I've come to realize that whilst I certainly can't go without it in the morning, it doesn't really favor me to make it the first thing that happens when I wake up. If made first thing, my first cup more often than not is accompanied by a comfy chair and scrolling through my phone for a good half hour. Then depending on my mood and what I've got on for the day, it can even result in a little light TV too. Eventually I'll make it to my desk, but I haven't really bothered to get dressed which seems to extend over to my desk that remains a mess from the day before. So what's first on the agenda? Emails? Starting a script for the new video? No, probably just catching up on my favourite YouTube subscriptions or watching reviews for more camera equipment that I can't afford and probably don't even need. Not only can I safely say that this is a waste of my morning, but it seems to carry on through to the rest of my day. I just can't seem to find the motivation to get cracking on with my to-do list. So let's try this again one little difference. See, for me, that change occurs the first moment I walk into the kitchen. Due to my flat's layout, this is the point of the day where I have a choice. Straight takes me to the kettle, the coffee, and a day of hanging around in my bathroom. To the right takes me to the shower. Now, I don't know what it is about this, but for me, a shower first thing in the day is like magic. For some of you, it might be out of necessity. You might need to leave for work, so therefore that's your opportunity to shower. A few moments later, but I work from home, and quite frankly, it doesn't become a priority as part of my morning routine. At least it hasn't until now. We are in a strange time right now, so a lot of you might have needed to adjust from working at home. And maybe even relish in the idea of sitting at your desk in your bathroom. However, I've certainly found that taking a shower, putting on clothes, doing my hair, and generally sorting myself out gets me off to a far better start. So what's going on here? It's called triggers. And when I talk about triggers here, I'm talking about triggers for certain habits that you have in the day. And coffee for a lot of people is a trigger for productivity. You drink your coffee and then you get on with the day, you get started with whatever your work projects are. Hell, I've even got it on my kitchen wall. And again, for some of you, this might be a different trigger. You might pick up your first cup of coffee on the way to the office. And that's what's getting you in the mood to get in there and get on with work. However, for me, coffee is a sign of creature comforts. I drink my coffee at home, in my favorite mug, wearing my favorite bathrobe, sitting on my favorite spot of the sofa, and watching my favorite TV shows. It's Batman. It's always Batman. A shower, on the other hand, for me at least, it's like a reset for my mind and my body. I wash away whatever happened previous, and I'm ready to start anew. It also follows with a bunch of other tasks like brushing your teeth, like grooming yourself, like getting dressed. And this is like ticking off little bits of your to-do list before the day has even started. It gets the momentum going with getting things done and getting on with your day. And of course, the coffee always follows. You see, throughout the day, we are making these little choices and decisions, some of which we are not even aware of. They are simply ingrained in our daily habits. It's important to take a moment to step back and look at how we are spending our time. It's like the snowball effect. The course that we take at the start of the day will generally roll into the rest. A strong start will hopefully build momentum into a productive day, whatever that looks like for you personally. These little triggers, whether they're good or bad, will obviously affect which direction you go in. So if it's a productive trigger, like getting in the shower in the morning and getting ready, which then ends up meaning that you go to your desk and get your work done, then that's great. If drinking your coffee first thing in the morning tends to make you more lazy, then maybe that thing needs to move to a later portion of your day. For me, taking the direction to turn right in my kitchen in the morning greatly affects the general direction of my day. So my advice is to find what your triggers are for productivity. Find the things that happen in your day that generally mean that the rest of it is gonna be successful and try to leverage them and use them and bring them to your advantage. What is your trigger for getting a workout in that day or getting started on a really big work project? How can you make sure that every day that trigger presents itself and you get those things done? I found that a great trigger for me is to write things down in the morning. A simple to-do list or a little journaling helps me to unpack my mind and decide what I want to focus on for that day. Taking that moment, 
really helps me to direct my attention onto what really matters, rather than simply meandering through my day. It doesn't need to be anything complicated. A great way to start is to write down one goal for today, one thing you are grateful for, and one thing you want to work towards in the distant future. Alternatively, just write down whatever's on your mind and a few things you'd like to get done that day. And it's important to know that these triggers work both ways. Some of these triggers have a negative effect. Like I said, me going straight towards the kettle in the morning, it's a negative trigger. It sends me down the wrong path. So think about it for yourself. Another one that I have is if I make a cup of tea, a cup of tea has to come with biscuits. Biscuits then get me onto this whole thing of not really worrying about or caring about what I eat for that day. And just to be clear, I'm not telling you not to eat biscuits or not to have a lazy day on the sofa. All of these things are absolutely fine. All I'm saying is that we want to be the captain of our own ship rather than get carried away with the tide and end up looking back on the day wondering where the time has gone and why we haven't got anything done. Like I said, a lot of us are working from home now. So really think about where you place yourself when you get started for work and how productive you end up being in that place. Does sitting on the sofa really work for you? Is it a good trigger to get you in a productive frame of mind? Maybe you need to move it into the kitchen. Maybe you need to find a little private space for yourself where you know that when you sit in this place, it triggers you into a form of productivity. In my last video about procrastination, I talked a little bit about pattern interruption and using this technique to help you be a bit more aware of how you're spending your time. So whenever anything like this comes up, a question that I like to ask myself is, is this behavior serving the life I want to create for myself? And yes, I know this might be a bit of an extreme question to ask over your first cup of coffee in the morning, but I believe that it's these questions and it's these small decisions that we make that change the general direction of the life that we're going to lead.